In a new white paper published by the Pioneer Institute, Axioms of Excellence, Kuman, and the Russian School of Mathematics, Zev Werman and I look at the popularity of these programs by focusing on two, Kuman Centers and the Russian School of Mathematics. It's a report that educators, policymakers, and parents who are concerned about the quality of STEM education today are sure to find interesting and useful. Kumon Centers was started in 1954 by Toro Kumon, a high school math teacher in Japan. Toro wanted to improve his son's test scores, so he designed a series of math worksheets. Beginning in the second grade, Toro's son worked on the math sheets each day, and by the time he was in the sixth grade, he was doing calculus. From that small start, Kumon Centers has grown to become the world's largest after-school math and reading organization with more than 1,500 locations in the U.S. serving nearly 300,000 students. The Russian School of Mathematics is based in Newton, Mass. It was founded in 1997 by Anessa Rifkin, a Russian immigrant. She, too, was unhappy that her son was not receiving the same rigorous mathematics education that she received in the Soviet Union. With one other educator, they created an after-school program that today serves about 25,000 students in 40 locations in 11 states and Canada. In our paper, you'll read the comments of parents whose children have enrolled in after-school programs. You'll read about the philosophies and educational approaches from the founders and leaders of Kumon and the Russian School of Math. And you view the independent education experts about the benefits and drawbacks of these programs. This paper is an effort to understand what are the essential ingredients provided by two prominent after-school math programs that seem to be lacking in our public schools. We have found that the curricular program in our schools disdain, and frequently actively discourage, memorization of and automaticity with its basic number facts and procedures that are indispensable for allowing students to focus on more advanced mathematics. Rather, they are bogged down in mundane mechanics of arithmetic. This is what Kumon After School Program offers, the overlearning of arithmetic facts and procedures to automaticity that frees students to access deeper maths. Further, the supposed focus of common core-based curricula on understanding and problem-solving is anything but. Lacking strong arithmetic foundation and automaticity with basics, those curricula focus on what they call understanding and problem-solving, but is in reality focus on understanding the convoluted English in which problems are presented, rather than on challenging maths. They produce pseudo-understanding can student responsive to prompts rather than on true understanding. In contrast, we found the successful Russian school mathematics program actually focuses on deep and challenging mathematics while expecting and developing arithmetic fluency in its students with relatively minimal time commitment. In summary, I believe this paper is worth reading by anyone interested to cut through the common obfuscating verbiage that we don't teach rote memorization and we teach for understanding, that for never stated reasons only deteriorated the achievement in American public school since the advent of common code.